What's up, what's up, what's up, what's going on? This is Kay back again with another video. Hope you guys are doing good. All right, this one I want to talk about. Um, hold on, sorry. I want to talk about these content creators on YouTube who are creating content. Uh, I hate my nine to five. I hate gig work. You know, um, I hate this, I hate that online what what do you guys want in this life these are people that live in america who are actually complaining about working a nine to five you know what i'm saying i've always had a job ever since i was 16 years old i worked in group homes i worked in kitchens dishwasher name it until i started you know doing my own thing why even when i had my own business I was still doing my nine to five, all right? I've watched, so, so so these videos are just popping up on my on my recommendation list and these people, I just, I quit the warehouse. Nine to five is not for anybody. Like, are you kidding me? I just left the FedEx office just a few minutes ago to pick up some printing uh, work. It got a few white people in there. They, they're in their sixties working a nine to five. Do you think they're making money? Nope. They're working. I'm not just talking about a woman. I'm talking about men and women. About four of them working in there. You know what I'm saying? And you got these young people on the YouTube online crying, complaining about working a nine to five. You have a job, man. You got something to pay your bills. Then you got folks out here complaining about working, doing the gig work. I hate gig work. What do you want? Let me tell you all this. I did gig, gig work when I was doing my nine to five. A few years ago, I was trying to pay my, I was trying to buy a house or mortgage a house. Uh, shout out to SMD. Um, I was trying to mortgage a house. I had some credit card stuff that I need to pay down. I had some, uh, I need to add to my down payment, my closing costs, and everything. I work my nine to five in the morning. Before um, the day is over, I'm in my truck doing Uber Eats all night long, baby. From uh, from five or four thirty to about twelve at night, and sometimes I be in Baltimore City delivering. Baltimore City, you know, I be Baltimore City delivering. You know what I mean? I had expectation. I had a family. Even when I was young, before I got married, I worked with the state. You know what I'm saying? I worked with the state. I was working. Sometimes I worked. 60 hours then I had a part time job for no reason I didn't have any kids but guess what I was there working part time on the weekends you know not online complaining about making money it shows that some of these people online are weak maybe they're doing it for content I don't know but as for me, for me and others, we don't complain about making money. Don't, don't stop making these videos. I mean, I can't tell somebody to stop making videos, but stop making these videos for the younger ones to see. And they believe a nine to five is not going to work for me. Um, I would just, I want to do something that can bring me fast money. I don't believe in fast money. Okay. Um, work a job that nine to five it helps you build your skill set you know what i'm saying if you work at right now I'm, I'm, I'm coming to Barnes and nobles let me tell you my trip this morning i woke up very early got the kids ready i had to go to the courthouse to get a document guess what i got paid for that then i had to go scan it and pick up another court document that i have to serve for my process server business now I'm at Barnes and Nobles. After here, I'm gonna go to my mail, my mailbox, because I have a mailbox 
uh, and I have for one business, then I have a, a office for another business. So I gotta go to my mail my, my mailbox, pick up another court order that has to be served this weekend, then head, head on home to complete some projects. I'm not going into the office today. So what I'm trying to say is, some of you guys need to be adults, okay? You need to be adults. Get off the internet. If you're struggling in real life, Find people that can direct you the right way. Stop hanging around with people that are going to tell you nine to fives are not good. You know, let me tell you this. Uh, gig work is one of the easiest. You don't even have to report to a supervisor. If you can't do a nine to five, do gig work. But you got people out here complaining about gig work. So what do you want? Go to school, get your college degree. Go get a job, regular nine to five, or go start a business. And starting a business, you gotta work every day. If you're not there, if you don't work, you don't get paid. Let's just let's just let's just um let's just be honest. And if you don't believe me, these are this this is it, right? This, this is the FedEx. I had I had to go get this this morning, just now, so I can I can uh I can serve it. This is another one. I can't show y'all the name. There's another one that I just I just went to the courthouse to pick up. I had to park, pay for parking. I had to walk in the courtroom, uh, take off all my, my belts and take everything out of my pocket. That's life. That is life. You know? And I, I just don't, I'm tired of seeing just, especially the men in your 30s, 40s online crying about nine to five. If I have to go back to a nine to five, I will. I'm not old. I'm not in my 60s. You get me? If business don't work, I'm going back to a 9 to 5. Because I have bills to pay. You know? Just weak as men. Weak men. Shout out to a friend of mine. He has a playground. When he started that playground, he worked seven days a week. He had employees, but he worked seven days. He didn't take a day off. For almost a year and a half, he worked seven days. Now, he has another building. Now, he want to get a third building. That's hard work, okay? When you start a business, it's not just success overnight. It's going to take time to build and grow, all right? There's no such thing as fast money. Now, if you have to start a business and you start making money fast, that's great. But if you don't, and you're making it slow, that's the process. You got to believe in the process. While you're doing your nine to five, you're also doing your business on the side. And it takes time to grow. While you're in this nine to five, you're learning. You learn about teamwork. You learn about, if you work at a, a store, you learn about how to use the register, how to uh, fix the credit card machine, something. You're learning how to do something there. That you're going to take this acquired, this skills that you learned at, at Walmart or McDonald's or Barnes and Nobles. You're going to take this same skill set and you're going to apply it to your full-time business. And that's what most of us are doing. Let me tell you this. There's no other way in America. There's other ways to make money. But the best way to make money, real legit money, is starting a business. Okay. Starting a business. If you're going to a neighborhood, like I was in a neighborhood the other day, and had nothing, it was I'm talking about million dollar homes. Majority of the trucks that I, that were in these homes were handyman uh, trucks, plumbing, electricity, HVAC. These were people that used their hands. These are their businesses. And they live in million dollar homes. Not just white people, black people, it, all over the place. They are working a nine to five. So who the hell are you to complain about you don't want to work a nine to five? If you don't like your current situation, put a plan in place and change it. Don't come online and try to convince the masses that a nine to five is not good. Nothing wrong with a nine to five. Nothing wrong with a nine to five job. Nothing wrong with a job. 
Not the, don't let these don't let these people don't don't let these people convince you, man. Don't let these people online lie to y'all. Okay? Don't let all these people lie to you. Oh, you're on the plantation. Listen, you pay your bills. You're taking care of yourself. Okay? Business owners, if they don't make money, they can't pay their bills. Guess who they have to pay? If they have employees, they gotta pay the employees first. Okay? I already ha I hired somebody. I already put two months of her salary in one account. That's already stored there. You know what I'm saying? So, but as you grow, you have to invest more into the into the business. So, guys, I know some people on this page, on this uh, YouTube uh, channel, some of you guys are doing your thing. But if you come across this video and you're complaining about working a nine to five or doing gig work and you live in America, you should take your bags and move back, move, move somewhere else. All right. Because let me tell you this, this is the best country in the world. It's not perfect, but it's the best where opportunities are a dominant. There's so much opportunities. You can become a millionaire. I know people that are starting group homes, they're millionaires. I know people that are starting mental health clinics, millionaires. I know people who are starting um, health home care. Uh, residential uh, staffing agencies. They are millionaires. People having all types of businesses, foster care business, government contracts, millionaires. You know? So, man, you can get it done. You can work hard. You can, you can execute. Get out the car. Stop running your mouth online about you you can't do a nine to five yes they're gonna be bad people working with you bad supervisors bad management but you gotta come up with a plan on how, an exit strategy on how you're gonna get up out of there yes i have been thrown under the bus yes i've been written up yes i've been uh not suspended though never been suspended um they've given me all these alternatives here and there at the end of the day, I survived. I'm still here. I'm still here. You know, some of those supervisors, they're still supervisors. I have my own shit. It's just the way it is. So stop complaining. Stop bitching. Especially the men. Get up. Get out. Get to work. So once I'm done here now, I'm going to head to my office, pick up some more documents, and I have to put all this stuff together. I have to create invoices. I have to do shit that, you know, I don't want to do. But I have to do it. I don't have an administrative assistant. If I did, if my business is growing, yes, fine. But this is the shit I have to do. That's just the way it is. So stop complaining. Stop being little... Stop, <laughs> stop being little baby boys. Especially the men. I'm addressing some of the men. Stop stop being weak. Like, I remember when I worked a job, when I worked a nine to five with the government, um, while the, 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 the assistant director is telling us the new changes that's coming the following month, me and my coworker, we already, me and him look at each other and when we get back to our office, we'll be like, while well, he's telling us what's going to change, the both of us are thinking how we're going to um, survive in that change. Meaning, yes, you're telling us how you're going to do it. We're going to tell you how we're going to get away with it. And we're going to bypass it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to tell you, we're going we're gonna to find a way to make it work for us. All right? We're going to find a way to make it work for you. So wherever you are, wherever job you are, Find a way to make it work for you. Okay? You got to find a way. I had a bad, bad supervisor. Terrible supervisor. I work from home. But I found a way to make it work for me. You know? Some days, I'll take off. Some days, uh, you know, I find ways not to, to get under her skin. 
and leave her alone. Then she leave me alone. I find ways to make it work for me, man. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is. But stop complaining, man. I'm telling you. It's, 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 it's just crazy. It's crazy. All right, folks. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. Peace.